Russell Kring and another segment of Impact, an entertainment segment. And uh, we want to warn people that there are a lot of thumb sharks that are roaming around the studio today. You have to be very, very careful of them. No one knows when one could attack. All right. Anyway, that's enough of that silliness. I don't know. I've never seen anybody do that, Matt. Thumb I, sharks. I thought the thumb shark They're was a awesome. really, really great idea. I know. I've never seen that. <laughs> David Letterman, Johnny Carson, Jack Parr. I invented the freaking thumb shark. Yeah. I mean, you you right. would have thought that you know that in the history of television, someone would have come up with that idea. No, they had, no. but there was Land Shark. That's which true. was great. Land Shark was awesome. All right, people. This is uh, <laughs> Matt Mitchum, uh, my friend, a comedian in town. And uh, here's the thing about Matt. Matt is an underground comedian. Right. He's like with the comedic Al Qaeda. He's like a comedic <laughs> terrorist. He's with this group of comedians out there laying comedic bombs all over the area, blowing you up with hilarity. Yeah, that's one way to put it. If I never <laughs> want to get work again. <laughs> That's right. He's created a movie called <laughs> The Innocence of the Comedians. Yeah, it will be premiering on YouTube yes, and exactly. then to be rave there. reviews around oh, the world. Absolutely. <laughs> They're burning down the theaters for Matt's movie. <laughs> All right, obviously I'm going to try very hard because you are a comedian. Yeah, and I'm, yeah. we're, we're, we're trying to get get the funny going. Yeah, get a little loose. Yeah, get loose. Yeah. Loosen it up. Loosen it up. <laughs> uh, Matt has a... Uh, New web series that's entitled right. Open Mic. Open Mic, yep. That's and right. it's all about the misery of being a stand-up comic. Yeah, that's exa it's exactly what it is. About <laughs> being an amateur, underground, as you put it, comedian. Ter terrorist Yeah, well, I'm going gonna, gonna to leave that out of my description. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, about the, uh, the struggles of being an amateur comedian and how much kind of failure you have to put up with to realize your dreams and aspirations, which is to someday hopefully become famous. And it's a... Uh, it can be a real challenge, and I think uh, that's kind of one of the things that the web series uh, shows. Well, it's it, it's very interesting to me because there are there were amateur. I mean, obviously there are the comedians that people see on like Comedy Central mm -hmm. and all this type of thing. Uh, and the thing about that is, is that even those comedians are not like household names. That's true. Yeah. I mean. You would think, oh, those people have made it, but those pop those people probably barely are making a living. That's true. There, I mean, there are a lot of levels that that you that you have to go through, that you have to ascend, you know, rungs of the ladder to be able to get to be like a Jerry Seinfeld or a Louis C.K. or Chris Rock, you know, like there, there. And you know, we're starting out where you put our name on a flyer and no one even gives a shit. Can I swear? <laughs> no, you're, you're not supposed to cuss, Matt. Good lord! All right, you're you're gonna make the editor work today, aren't you? <laughs> no one told me I could right. swear. God damn! It. All right. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. So don't cuss, Matt. All right. I know. Try to be clean. All try right. Try to be clean for once. It's hard. It's hard in me. your life. Yeah. All right. Lord of mercy. All right. So right. Okay. So what we're talking about is comedic baklava here. That's we're talking true. about many, many like different levels of filo dough. And you were right now at the bottom one. That's a great analogy. <laughs> we are that bottom level, the greasy phyllo dough from from like the cheese and the spinach. Yes. Like that's what we are right now. And uh, how does one how does one become a more success? I mean, successful comedian. Do you? You know, are there a lot of places that you can play? Do you have to create your own places? I mean, how does that work? Well, it really depends. In a place like Albany, where it's a smaller city, you know, the market isn't all that big for comedians, and there's a lot of us here. And so it's kind of hard to get work at any of the clubs or venues in the area. And so, you know, you have to kind of develop your, your talent, develop your skill set while you're here, and then make a move to a big city like Los Angeles or New York. Is New York City the center of the comedic universe, sort of the way LA is for acting? Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of them, absolutely. Uh -huh. um, I mean, that's where you either go to New York or LA. If you want to really pursue stand-up as an art form and you're really serious about stand-up, you go to New York. But if you want to pursue stand-up but also try to get a TV show, right. Then you go to L.A. So, and I also know that there's something called basically pay shows where you have to pay to actually do a show. Yeah, there are, there are shows like that. Um, what's actually more common are bringer shows where you have to bring X number of people to, just to be able, you have to bring customers to the club just to be able to perform. Um, which is, it's basically the same thing as paying. But the problem stage. is you have no friends, Matt. That's true. So you really can't bring anybody. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, it's hard sometimes. Just you know. the smelly homeless. Those right. are the only ones you just like bring in. You <laughs> offer them 
you know, some bologna or something, and they come and laugh. That's at exactly you. what I do. I offer them some bologna and some <laughs> greasy filo dough. Exactly. <laughs> come see me, tell jokes. Yeah. But you, the reason I compared you to Al Qaeda uh, was because you found this like group of kind of interesting misfit toy yeah. comedians. That we're using many analogies here. To yeah, describe. we're <laughs> trying to get a handle on this, Matt. Al Qaeda, uh, <laughs> the Island of Misfit Toys, Philo Dough. Yeah, all right, exactly. I'm just trying to keep up. Right, no, the, all of these really funny guys yeah. that are all sort of struggling in the area, and you all came together to create mm -hmm. a web series. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's myself, uh, Vernon Payne, Bill Nettleton, and William Hughes have formed our own kind of production team and we're working on this web series but um, yeah it's just guys that we all we all like really found a, a commonality with and so we're all kind of going through the same thing and we all see we all recognize the talent that we all have um, and we just thought you know we should just create something and right. that was that was kind of the genesis of, of how the show came together well I just want to say Matt that uh, I personally think you are talented but you're not supposed to say that you're talented because that makes you an arrogant person. <laughs> Okay, so All what right. you say, you should recognize the talent that they have, and then I should say, but you know, someone <laughs> should, John should say, I have talent. I will take the lessons of John. I appreciate Crane that, you know, because that's straight to just heart. rude, Matt. They're like, oh, I'm so talented. Oh, I'm Matt. I'm Matt Mitchum. Yeah, it's not my real name. All right. <laughs> No, no, Don't no. Don't blow my cover. Yeah, exactly, exactly. No, 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 no. Seriously, let let's talk about um, you know the idea of uh, open mic. Yeah. Um, uh, one of the movies that comes to mind is uh, Punchline, which is mm -hmm. the movie that uh, Tom Hanks did sort of about the experience of being a stand-up comedian. But that was in the 80s. Yeah. How has that experience changed? Or is Punchline pretty much, the, is it a pretty good example of what it's, it's like? It's pretty true to form, but it has changed a lot. And I would say it's probably the internet has changed a lot because now everyone can see stand-up comedy. It's, it's, it's much more of a distributed art form. People right. recognize it and people more and more so now are thinking, hey, I'm funny, I can get into this. So there's a lot more competition, especially at our level. Right. Um, a lot more people that just are getting on stage at open mics, telling jokes, like trying to make something out of uh, what, you know, what their dreams are. And I think it's, um, it's, get, it's gotten to be a little more cutthroat, especially at the lower levels. Interesting. So everybody thinks that they can do this, yeah, is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. And are they right? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I'm right, so... <laughs> so uh, what about something like Funny or Die? How does that come into it? Well, fun, yes, sites like Funny or Die or, you know, just YouTube, any of the video hosting sites, um, you know, it's... it's I mean, it's it's a really wonderful platform in which people can can share their, their projects and their, their art and their comedy, you know, and... And, you know, you get on Funny or Die, especially it's a kind of a cool system. You get voted on, you know, right. is this funny or is it not? Um, so I think it's really, it's that and the advent of, you know, having cell, having cameras on your cell phone has really just m exploded the whole the whole comedy industry, I guess, if you could call it that. Because um, anyone can create anything. Now, you can go out with your cell phone and shoot a video sketch with your friends right. on a Saturday afternoon, upload it to the internet and get a million views on it. So, I mean, that has, it's really kind of, it's, it's opened up the floodgates, so to speak, as to... Uh, so Open Mic is, not only is it a, uh, a web series for you, but to you it is a way that you're going to expose people to your comedy stylings and also, you know, these other gentlemen that were involved in it. That was really the genesis of the idea. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, it was really, we wanted to get kind of a semi-autobiographical take on, on the struggles of, of these young 20-something-year-old guys, like, going to open mics in their free time and just telling jokes and sometimes succeeding and a lot more often failing. Right. I think it's uh, someone like Louis C.K., it's uh, very, very interesting, sort of his success story. Because he seems to me always is has his foot in being a an unsuccessful comedian. Yeah. It's like even well, though yeah. he's probably as successful as you're going to get, he has something in him that he always remembers what it's like. Absolutely, to be miserable. Mm -hmm. And that's I mean that's something <laughs> that's something that a lot of comedians I, th I feel like really hold on to because there there's a lot of struggle and a lot of toil that goes into it and a lot of a lot of work that you're never really compensated for and a lot and a lot of failure that you have to put up with just to get to just to get any modicum of success well I went to one of your shows and uh, there were like I think seven comedians and two things I learned apparently about being a stand-up comedian is that none of you were liked in high school and none of you <laughs> want to have kids. <laughs> that's yeah, just, that's, that's just a general accurate. hatred yeah. of children yeah. and, and the church. 
Yeah, we no, hate uh, the children. We hate church, <laughs> and and we were spit on in high school. That's yeah. That's uh, that's that's not inaccurate, so, especially personally too. I mean, I mean, I love kids, but uh, you know. <laughs> so, uh, if where is uh, Open Mic right now, and what what's going to be happening with it, and how are people going to find it? So uh, we just we finished shooting the pilot episode, um, directed by who. Yours truly. Me? Yes, John what? Kring. <laughs> Couldn't you get someone good? Yeah, well, we tried, but it was, you know, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. <laughs> um, but so we've, uh, we've finished shooting the pilot. It's, uh, almost, it's almost edited. We're just kind of wrapping a few things up with that. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got six episodes total that we want to produce, and we've got, we've got them almost all completely written. And so we're just looking to uh, raise money to get the rest of these things produced. Um, we're looking to premiere the pilot uh, at the end of October, um, October 27th. And uh, for any information, people can go to openmicseries.com. Um, and we'll be, uh, we'll be having news, updates, video, trailers, all sorts of stuff that you can check you out. You guys are also open to the idea of other people like coming in, other comedians, and bringing kind of their ideas and... Uh, making appearances on the show too. A absolutely, that was really one of the big things, and 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 we wanted to tell our story, but we also we have like a we have a wealth of talent in Albany, especially especially in the comedy scene. And so what we wanted to do was really build a platform in which we could showcase any other comedians that wanted to come in, wanted to bring ideas to the table, wanted to do some acting, you know. Um, and so we we really thought that this would be a great way for other comics to get a little exposure too. You know? It's strange to me because it's like. People get in their head, okay, these are the comedians in town, and they're the ones that get all the work, they're the ones that get all of the, all of the notice, and it's, it seems like it's very difficult to sort of break that mindset with people and get them to try out you know, some, a, 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 new, a new comedian. It's different than it is with music because people are more, they're more used to the idea of trying out a new band yep. or listening to a new song. Why are they less... Uh, inclined to try a new comedian well I think uh, they people are people are wary about seeing someone that they don't know because there's a lot of opportunity to be to, to see an unfunny comedian I mean that that happens a lot <laughs> and so I, I wouldn't call that an opportunity well I think, that's a <laughs> yeah. I think it's, a, it's a negative opportunity yeah, yeah so they, they had <laughs> the <laughs> negative opportunity to to see a bad show and I think right. people are people are really wary about that especially with comedy when you see a bad comedian there's a lot of pain that registers even in the audience too is you're kind of sharing in the in the misery that the comedian is experiencing up on stage right, right. and so it can be a pretty awkward experience but you know uh, the, the local comedy scene in Albany is, is really fantastic I mean we have so many great comedians here um, so many comedians that no one's ever heard of but are are doing really funny stuff and are doing really great things and so there's a lot of there are a lot of smaller shows that we that I've been a part of that other comedians uh, produce and host all around all around the capital district. And so, how do these get promoted? Like through Facebook? Yeah, or? mostly through Facebook, um, flyers, um, uh, and word of mouth. Really, is we're just trying to build something from the ground up, and you know it can take a little time, but um, you know I think the Albany comedy scene I can see from the the two years that I've been a part of it has really developed into something right. a lot bigger than it was when I started. So. Excellent, excellent. What what do you think of comedy in general right now? What what about it? What phase are we in? Are we in a high? Are we in a mid? Are we in a low? I think we're in an we're in an absolute high right, right. now. I mean, I think that comedy is being disseminated through so many like mediums: podcasts, TV, web series, movies, stand-up specials that you can buy on the internet. Uh -huh. I mean, it's 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 a renaissance, really. And um, you know, we're we're reaching, I think, maybe a point of saturation. We might see a, a crash in the comedy stock market, but I think right now it's really really cool time to be not only a comedian but a fan of comedy because there's so so much going on. No, that's excellent. No, that that's excellent. So. Uh, what are you hoping? Uh, what, what will happen with? I mean, obviously, everybody hopes. Oh, you know, I hope that you know Comedy Central sees this, and yeah. you know, um, they they want to you know buy you know fifty episodes and you know give me hookers. Yeah. I know that's what you're. That hoping. is the ideal. Well, that's yes. the, that's the deal I want to get. Oh, of course, <laughs> yeah, because Comedy Central has so many hookers. They that's I think they deal primarily in hookers as their currency. Yeah, well, that's how they used to pay uh, Dave Chappelle <laughs> and with other things too. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Well. <laughs> but you know other other than that you know you know just uh you know 
is open mic is television something that you would like to get you know much more into? Yeah, absolutely. I think this is really this is all all of us, all four of us, Vern, Will, Bill, and myself. This is our first foray into any sort of like television like medium, and so this is really kind of we're just trying to get our foot in the door a little bit. Are um, these you? Are you guys playing characters, or are these characters really you? Come on, Matt. Be, they be uh, <laughs> they are all loosely based on ourselves. So the character that I play is probably, I'm probably the most like my character out of any of the What is the your character's name? Uh, my character's name is Ben Wazinski. Okay, so, uh, okay, so we actually have a different name. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's not actually, yes. it's not like Tony Danza who always played Tony yeah. in everything he ever did. Mm -hmm. Because he apparently could not remember another name. That's, I've, I've heard that, is he has a really specific <laughs> term of short term. That's right, I'm Tony. A specific instance of short term memory loss. I'm Tony. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, uh, and then the, the other guys, I, I know that um, uh, one, of the one of the characters is absolutely insane. That's true, yes. Uh, uh, the character played by William Hughes, uh, Clive, Clive Earl Stewart, is probably the biggest departure from all of us as to the, the, the difference between the characters and the actors. But yeah, the character that he, he is plays... He a comedy terrorist. He, he, he actually, <laughs> in, in very literal terms, is a, he's, a, he's a terrorist of joy. He destroys joy... You know, well, in all the other characters' lives. No, ab no, absolutely. And th there's nothing more fun than seeing other people's yeah. joy being destroyed. It really, it's really, uh, it's a lot of fun to write for that character. Uh, I'm really hoping for a Christmas episode where he just, like, <laughs> got Santa Claus. That would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we really had the budget for that. But, uh, oh, well. <laughs> let's hope. Give money yeah. so that we can disembowel Santa yeah. for open mic. But the other characters uh, played by Vernon Payne and Bill Nettleton, uh, Kevin uh, Johnson and Bill Headley respectively, um, are they probably embody really the struggle the most out of any of the characters, the struggle that that we as amateur comedians kind of go through. And they're both they're at different kind of levels of success, but you really see how much pain they have to endure really to to pursue their dreams. And, Wow, it's it's amazing how much how many times you say comedy and pain in the same <laughs> sentence. But yeah, yeah, apparently that that that's the biz. Yeah, right? it's a real masochistic <laughs> endeavor that we all undertake, and so you know it's it's just it's all in the game. Nice, nice, <laughs> awesome. Well, Matt, thanks so much. Where can people again uh, find out more about Open Mic? On OpenMicSeries.com. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. I really have been. Uh, enjoyed the whole process of and being yes thank us. you so much for being a part of it i mean we really we couldn't have done it without you no worries my friend no worries all right thanks for being on the show thanks for having me and uh thank you so much for watching impact check out open mic and uh, i love santa claus okay i was just joking around okay santa please bring me presents <laughs>